Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to install Hyper-V on Windows Server 2025. Before installing the Hyper-V rule, ensure that your Windows Server computer's hardware is compatible. In the previous video, we reviewed the system requirements for installing Hyper-V on Windows Server 2025. Hyper-V can be easily installed on both Windows Server and Windows Client operating systems. We have two options to add the rule. We can either use Server Manager or enable the rule through Windows PowerShell. For beginners who haven't worked with Windows Server before, the Hyper-V rule can be easily installed using the Server Manager. In this video, we will use the Server Manager dashboard to install the Hyper-V rule. Press the Windows key on your keyboard to open the Server Manager. You can easily find Server Manager on your Start menu. Once you open Server Manager dashboard, click on Add Rules and Features. On Before You Begin page, click Next. Select Role-based or Feature-based installation and click Next. On this window, select the server where you want to install the Hyper-V. We'll be installing the Hyper-V role on the local server. Leave the local server selected as the default for installation. On the Server Roles page, we select Hyper-V. You will be asked to add features that are required for Hyper-V. Click on Add Features. Wait for few seconds. After clicking the Add Features button, you will see the checkbox populated next to Hyper-V. Click Next. On the Features page, click Next as we don't need any additional features at the moment. From here, we will begin the Hyper-V specific configuration. The wizard will display an overview of the Hyper-V rule. You can read a brief overview of the Hyper-V server. Click Next to continue. You will configure the first Hyper-V virtual switch on this configuration page. Virtual switches makes it possible for virtual machines to talk to each other. If you want to create a virtual switch and link it with a physical network, choose one or more of the available network adapter from your host server. As a note, the step is not required during the installation of the Hyper-V role and can be done later on using Hyper-V Manager. You can also use Windows PowerShell to create virtual switch. We have selected the physical network adapter from our host that we want to use to create the first virtual switch. Click Next. If you want to perform live migrations of VMs between Hyper-V host, enable the virtual machine migration options. Otherwise, you can leave it off as this configuration can also be specified later using Hyper-V Manager or PowerShell. Click Next. Configure the default storage locations for Hyper-V virtual machines. By default, Hyper-V stores virtual machine configuration files on this location. You can specify custom locations or partitions here to store the disk files and VM configuration files. At this moment, we are going with the default locations. Once you are done, click Next. Confirm the installation configuration for Hyper-V. When you click Install, the installation of the Hyper-V role begins. The installation process has begun. The Hyper-V installation on your server may take a few minutes to complete. A restart is required as the final step to complete the installation. In the Installation Progress dialog, we can see a note reminding us that a restart is required to complete the installation. The reboot is necessary to initialize Hyper-V beneath the Windows Server 2025. Click on Close to close this installation wizard. Let me close Server Manager dashboard as well. Click on Restart and this is going to be the planned restart. Click on OK to restart this Windows Server 2025. Press Ctrl to delete key combination and tap the administrator password and press Enter to log into this Windows Server 2025. We can verify that Hyper-V and the Hyper-V management tools were successfully installed by launching the Hyper-V manager. Click on Tools and select Hyper-V manager to open the Hyper-V management console. Hyper-V manager should launch successfully and you will see your local Windows server listed by default. It is the primary tool for managing and configuring Hyper-V as well as creating and managing virtual machines. In an upcoming video, we will dive deeper into the inner workings of Hyper-V Manager and creating and managing virtual machines. That's all for this video on how to install the Hyper-V Server role on Windows Server 2025. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.